Huh? No, I'm like getting on that couch, What? I didn't ask you to get on it. I, listen, I said, what's his info? I'm finna send my brochures and shit and tell him, man, pass this shit out. And then, he, bro, the nigga ain't got nothing else to do. He locked up. Huh? Listen, when your name get called every day for mail, you gonna like that. And people gonna be like, bro, I'll give you some soups and shit. Nigga, it's hard in there, bro. And you gotta get off top round, but you gotta depend on motherfuckers out here that's like, nah, I'm struggling too. Like, you want something where you gonna be comfortable. I just got out of that shit. Now, if you want them to struggle in that motherfucker, it's a hard thing with a bunch of niggas, bro. So don't send them no mail. You be see, you be doing that weird stuff. You can go listen, listen. Listen, this is why me and you never, I, you never, listen, you can go visit him, when? And he, and he could see you through a glass and shit, right? And he in there with a bunch of dumbass, faggot ass niggas in there doing bullshit and any wrong thing can keep him in there. And you think that you living out here on the street is going to help him? So you wouldn't, you wouldn't want to make his stay a little more comfortable to be able to come home. Oh, you ain't a loyal person. You don't know. Man, listen, bro. You ain't never been in that position. So you can't even talk about it. Now, now to the point I'm saying, I'm glad you realize that that's where you're happy. Fuck with me wouldn't have made you happy. I'm not even wild. I just don't lie. I don't live in a fake world. I, I'm a grown man. Like, I'm not I'm not with the bullshit. And people, people, people come with the slave mentality, the, the slave bullshit. You feel me? And think I gotta sit here and listen to it. You feel me? Like.